Hi everybody, in my previous video I said I'll share with you one of my favorite plugins to use for gallery images. So you can make your images look fire when adding them onto your WordPress site. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe onto our channel for more videos like these. Our first review is Photo Gallery by 10 Web. It has been installed over 300,000 times on WordPress, making it one of the most popular image gallery plugins. It's beginner friendly and both a freemium and pro plans include 15 light box effects to create unique transitions between images as you wish. The most popular views are mosaic and grid view and the plugin has recently uploaded to be SEO friendly, making a site a lot easier to be found on Google by new people. The plugin is great to set up simple, beautiful slideshows, galleries, portfolios for beginners and newbies. Now let me show you how you can use this plugin. First to search photo gallery by 10 web. You should see the plugin over here. You click onto it, add new gallery. So you give the gallery a title. I'm gonna name it 10 web. And then you say add images, upload images. And then you just say add selected files. Now you can choose to change the title and the description of the images. That's totally up to you, but I would recommend that you do that. Once you're done, you say update. And then when you say preview, mosaic looks like this. When you click onto it, this is how it's gonna look. Thumbnails looks like this. It's a little bit smaller. Slideshow would look like this. A bigger image on top. And it has a play button for you to browse the images. An image browser will look like this. And block style looks like this. And once I am happy with that, all I do is say update. Now to add a page gallery, all you do is you say pages, add new page, and then the page title will be 10 web. And then you'll say add photo gallery. I'll choose mosaic. Then you say under gallery, you say 10 web, and you'll choose what theme you want, light or dark mode. That's totally up to you. I'll keep it to light for now. Then once you're done, you say insert into post. And then when you hit preview, you will see that your gallery images are over here. When you click onto it, you'll see that all your photos are here. And once you do, you go back. And when you're happy with it, you click onto publish. And then when you go to the front end, you'll see that all your images are over here. Here is the full pricing for this plugin. Guess what? The free version also allows you to add watermarks to your images and advertising features, which is a great way to credit your work if you're a content creator like me. So try the free version at first before heading to the paid version. The second best image gallery is Envira Gallery. If you prefer effectiveness over highly aesthetic gallery looks, you should install Envira Gallery plugin. It is designed to be a super simple and quick gallery to be in WordPress. So let's take a look on how Envira Gallery works. So onto your dashboard, you'll say Envira, add new. And then I'll just give this title Envira so we know the difference. And then you can select from your computer or drag and drop. And you just wait for your files to upload. Once all your images are uploaded, you can add a light box into it. You can choose the image size, you can make it large or medium. I'm just gonna keep it medium large. And when it comes to the captions, you can choose it for it to float, come from the side or outside or over. Let's just say outside. And you can choose to add some social sharing icons such as Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Once you're happy with it, you say publish. Now create a gallery page for Envira. All you do is say Envira, and then this is the gallery where you created it. You click onto it, you say insert, and then when you click onto preview, you'll see that your images are right over here. The basic pricing competes with photo gallery, but the features are more limited and do not include a freemium. However, the plus plan starts from $60, already allows you to expand to three 
sites at once. Overall, this is great for agencies, especially when managing multiple sites. And I would get the lifetime package as you get all the pro features. So if you're a beginner, rather skip this one. The next gallery tip is more for you. Foo Gallery is a great plugin for beginners, but it goes beyond just image gallery. It has a freemium plan so you can get a hang of it first. Foo Gallery is an easy to use plugin with stunning gallery layouts and focus on speed and SEO so images can be found by new users easily. So let's take a look at how Foo Gallery works. So over to your dashboard, you say next gen, add new gallery images. So I'm just gonna drag my images. While my images are loading, I'm just gonna give it the title as next gen. And then you create the gallery folder. And then you upload the six files. Once you're done, you go to manage galleries, you scroll down to next gen, and you can add your title of your image and your caption over here. You can say sort gallery. So you can choose the order you'd like the gallery to have. You can just drag and drop on how you want it to be. You can just drag the images on where they need to be. And then all you do is say update order. You do the same thing when you want to add the gallery page. You just go to pages, add new page. We're gonna name it next gen. And when you go down, you should see the next gen gallery over here. So you can choose the type of gallery you want. It can be thumbnails, slideshow, basic image browser. So I'm just gonna choose a slideshow. I'm gonna insert the gallery. And then when you click onto preview, you will see that the slideshow is just over here and it will turn automatically on its own. The pricing starts at freemium and they're also competitive with basic plans. What's unique about this pricing is that you receive different pricing options based on how many websites you have, what your goal is and how long you actually want to pay. So for example, if you have more than one site, you can choose between a pro star versus a pro commerce. I love Food Gallery as it caters for beginners, freelancers, online entrepreneurs, and developers. So this is a definite must try. It also allows your images to load fast. Food Gallery is great to start. If you are owing a site that sells images and printable digital products, you have to install NextGen. NextGen is perfect for visual websites or sites relying mainly on images. And it is one of the most popular gallery plugins. NextGen also includes image protection and watermarks, but one of their special features is that they can install a built-in e-commerce feature to let the users pick and choose and buy your images or digital products. So let's take a look on how NextGen works. Although it comes with the free version, NextGen is probably one of the most expensive starter plan of all. I personally recommend this for digital entrepreneurs, businesses that sell digital prints, downloadables, etc. The last image gallery plugin is Modular and probably one of the best out of the five plugins. Modular is a mobile friendly plugin with custom grid functions so you can freely resize images and add your pics using the drag and drop function. To be honest, this is also a great plugin for complete beginners and it already comes with image entry animations such as sliding and rotation to make your gallery more interactive. Plus, it also includes watermark extensions so you can protect your images from people stealing your work. So let's take a look at how Modular works. We're gonna go to Modular. On the dashboard, we're gonna click on Modular. We're gonna say Galleries. Add new galleries. We're gonna give it a name and we're gonna call it Modular. When you scroll down, you can upload or select images from library. So what I'll do is I'll select the images that I want within the library. Then once I'm happy, I say add to gallery. Then under general settings, you click on custom grid. So let's say we want Montessori. And then the column type, we're gonna say three. I'm not sure how many pictures are added for now. And then with image size, we can say medium or large. 
let's just say large no let's say medium so you can go to social you can enable the social bar and you can choose the social media links that you would like to add including your email too and the colors and the size and the gutter you can choose the spacing of the gutter and you can choose the type of hover effects you want these are the type of hover effects you can get you know so for now we're just going to use this one since we're on the free version okay so once you are happy with that all you do is save gallery then you do the same thing add new page we shall call it modular and you're going to click onto this icon small icon over here click on modular when you preview you'll see that all your gallery images from modular are right over here and then when you're happy with that all you click is published i'll save it as a draft for now so here's the pricing plan for modular one of the greatest things about Modula is that it comes with features that are super essential for beginners, but also only cost $39 per year for a basic plan. It has a simple setup, essential features for photo gallery, and the pricing is reasonable too. That's it. If you want more information about the plugins mentioned, check out the link description below. I've added all the links leading to the website plugins. I'll see you next time. Bye.